Today I want to talk about um, what do you do if you are worrying about COVID-19, the coronavirus, and if you have upcoming travel plans. So we actually have several cruises booked even through 2021 and we're big cruise fans. Um, I think it's a great way to see the world, especially if you have little kids and you know they can play in the kids club. There's lots of stuff to do on the ship and then it can take you wherever you wanna go. Um, and this summer we actually had a trip planned for the end of June with my parents and one of my siblings. And we were really excited because it was my, both of my parents are turning 70 this year. They're celebrating their 50th wedding anniversary. Very big deal. But now we've got this coronavirus. So um, the cruise lines, the major cruise lines were um, really kind of on top of this. And part of that has to do with the fact that um, one of the princess cruise ships was kind of made the headlines because they were stuck outside of um, California for so long, people couldn't get off the ship. It was really horrible. Um, so we had our cruise this summer was on Carnival. We actually have a cruise over New Year's booked for Royal Caribbean and then next New Year's um, Carnival as well. So uh, Carnival has been sending us emails. Um, you know, they'd been doing updates of closures and cancellations. You know, first it was a few weeks and now it's through the beginning of May and they're hoping to be up and running. And, you know, I'm very sympathetic to a lot of the passengers, but I'm also incredibly sympathetic to a lot of the crew because cruise ships employ hundreds of thousands of people from all over the world. And so this is a major industry that's being hit by this coronavirus, like many, you know, the restaurant industry, there's so many places where people are losing work and it's awful. Um, but you know, if you've put money down on a vacation and you're kind of wondering what are your options, just a few things to note. So I called Carnival about our trip in June and I told the customer service representative, I said, well, you know, my parents would like to cancel because they're 70 um, and my dad, doesn't really, he's not in great health. So um, they were really understanding, no questions asked, they refunded, we had paid for the entire cruise. So they refunded everything back to the credit card that I had paid for the cruise on. And so if, let's say you booked something a long time ago, you might need to update your credit card information with your cruise line, just so you know. And then um, our deposit, we had an $800 deposit that we had put down. So they said that you can credit that towards a future cruise through 2021. And all you have to do is save your reservation number of the cruise you were getting refunded and then use that and they'll be able to access your deposit in the future. What we decided to do is actually take that deposit and have it credited towards the cruise we already had booked. We just hadn't paid for all of it because it's not until a year and a half from now. So we have that $800 now added on to what we had already paid for a future New Year's cruise. And um, so for us that works, we're regular cruisers. We will cruise again when all of this hopefully fades down. Um, but I would guess if I were a betting woman, if you really pushed it, you could also get your, your deposit credited back to you. Um, especially if you're someone who maybe has respiratory issues or depending on your age, um, that they were very accommodating and I felt like I was in very good hands. All right, so we also have a cruise booked on Royal Caribbean for this upcoming New Year's and I don't know how I feel about going on a cruise ship. Um, I love history and looking back at the, you know, Spanish influenza in 1918, there was a dip in numbers in the summer and then it increased once the weather got cold again. We don't have a vaccine yet. Now, obviously the world is a very different place than it was a hundred years ago, but I'm just a little nervous. And so since we have this New Year's cruise booked on Royal Caribbean, uh, we decided to contact them about what our options are in regard to that cruise. So what they said is that if we outright cancel, we do not get any cruise credits, we lose $1,000 in our deposit, 
And that one option that we have is if we want to cancel the cruise but automatically rebook for a future cruise, we could do that, but we would still lose $100 per person, so $400 total in what we've reserved and what we've already paid for. I'm a little frustrated by that policy. I wish that, especially considering the fact that we have sailed on Royal Caribbean several times, we're pretty loyal customers, um, that they aren't a little more accommodating and flexible, especially considering this crazy situation that we're in right now. But if you're kind of on the fence about, well, do I book something? What if I can't get my money back? I would definitely steer more towards a cruise line that is going to be a little more accommodating than Royal Caribbean. It's really too bad that uh, that's their policy. So we're gonna try to figure out what we're gonna do with that New Year's cruise. Maybe we'll just sit and wait and see what happens and possibly lose the 400 if we book something else. I really don't wanna cancel and lose $1,000. That's a lot of money. And hopefully Royal Caribbean, if you're listening, you'll change your policy because these are different times. You know, no one could have accounted for this in their travel plans. And so, you know, we'll see, we'll see what happens. We do still have a long time to go before New Year's. So I'll keep you posted. <laughs> So those are just, those are the options that we took advantage of. So if you're kind of worried about, you know, what does the future hold with all of this wild stuff that's going on right now, um, you can get your money back even if it's after the time that things have already been canceled for. So um, we we canceled a late June, it was fine. I barely even waited on hold that long. You know, you hear these horror stories of hours and hours on hold and I was on hold for maybe 15 minutes. So it's not too shabby. They're used to getting these phone calls. They're very accommodating um, if you're on a major cruise line. So if you have any questions or if you wanna share a comment of you know, some experience that you've had, please don't hesitate to put those below and subscribe to this channel for hopefully more travel adventures in the near future. Thank you.